Let's start. Welcome to the award ceremony for Prague Quadriennial. I must say that I've been walking around the place for the last few days, and it's really great to see how all of you passionately speak about your work, sometimes about others' work, but mostly about your work. <laughs> Let's face it, all right? But the best part of it is that you're all smiling. So at the very beginning of this ceremony, we'd really like to thank you for making this place a happy place in the world. So thank you, and once again, good evening. Okay, we have to move on because our stage director, Michal Zaban, uh, is aiming to break a record in uh, the award ceremony. Uh, we have 20 awards to give, and he gave us only 60 minutes, all right? So, uh, and you know how it is. So, we're already late now. So, um, the PQ is under the custody of the Ministry of Culture of the Czech Republic. I'm really uh, glad to have here the Deputy Minister of uh, Culture, Mr. Ondřej Krast. Hello, good evening. This sounds like a wonderful evening. I am very glad to be here on the behalf of Minister of Culture, Martin Baxa. He really wanted to be here, but you know, our parliament has its session and it's always hard for us, so he had to stay here. But uh, I wish you very, very pleasant and wonderful evening. And I have been walking around PQ this year many times, twice. <laughs> and, uh, and it was very wonderful and I, I love this festival and enjoy the evening. And uh, Ministry of Culture is very proud on PQ stuff and everybody who is, who is involved in this festival and a special artist and you all. Thank you very much. Thank you, Andre. <laughs> this is a rare event, okay? And it's a rare occasion to have a brief politician. Thank you very much. <laughs> so, now, let's please welcome the PQ General Director, Pavla Petrova. Hello, uh, good evening to everybody. I will not be so brief, but because I have to thank. And uh, I will take this opportunity to thank again to all curators, all organizational team to coming to Prague and to present their rare and exceptional artworks. On behalf of the Arts and Theatre Institute, um, I would like to thank again to Ministry of Culture for initiating and funding this event. And also I would like to express my gratitude to the Prague City Hall for their support and contribution. This edition of PQ had a wonderful group of partners and uh, I therefore thank the general partner Volkswagen Group for providing their electric vehicles for transports of the PQ guests, the technological partner Alza CZ, the main partner, Hotel Mama Shelter, for supporting the event with accommodation for the PQ guests, the general media partner, Czech Television, and the main media partner, Czech Radio. But we have many more partners and supporters to thank. Thank for the continual support for Prague 7 and its art district. Also our collaboration uh, from the main uh, locations, Holeshovice Market, uh, National Gallery Trade Palace, and Theatre Academy Damu. The list is truly long, which is uh, absolutely great, and you can see all of the partners on this enormous logo map behind me. Thank you. Thank you, Paula. What wouldn't
PQB without these two ladies that will now come. Please give a really warm welcome to Marketa Fantova and Michaela Buryankova. <laughs> Sasha knows we are on a clock and he says long welcome, so see how it happens. Um, I will be brief. I just want to say that I think all of us must feel a little bit like winners because we made it here. You all brought wonderful works and I think every one of us will leave with memories, with new ideas, inspired, and my hope is that in the future this conversation will continue, that we'll see at another PQ where it led us. Because this is interesting era, we are in interesting times. That's why this is rare moment, moment, moment. And so I think we will see where this PQ, things that are born here, uh, where they will take us for the next one. So I'm really looking forward to see that. Thank you. like to extend our thanks to our team members, which are very important, and we would not be able to make this even without them. Some of them are here, some of them are outside, the production team is all around the place, our PR team, so thank you all, and I hope in four years some of you will come back. Thank you. So, now let's move to our jury. Uh, the members of the jury this year were Chase Angel, the Artistic Director of Angel Performance Works based in New York State. She has, begun, uh, she has been a speaker and workshop educator for several editions of the Prague Quadrennial since 2011. Chase, where are you? Here. For all the jury members, this is how we do it, okay? <laughs> so, the next one is the architect and professor of scenography, artistic director of the scenography department at the Norwegian Theatre Academy and external professor at the Danish National School of Performing Arts. Please welcome Serge von Arks. Then, Marianella Boan, one of the most important and internationally recognized choreographers in Cuban and Latin American contemporary dance, especially her revolutionary style, Contaminated Dance. Please welcome Marianella. And then we have Sven Jonke, one of the establishing members of an artistic collective, Newman for You, a career. What's happening? What's happening? Something, something funny I don't know about. All right, I'm moving on. Don't do this to me, guys. OK, once again, Sven Jonke, one of the establishing members of an artistic collective Newman for Use, a Croatian Austrian design collective working in the fields of scenography, industrial and spatial design and conceptual art. Sven Jonke. <laughs> The co-artistic director and designer for performance uh, company Seven Sisters Group, well known internationally for their site-specific work, Sophie Jump. <laughs> An award-winning playwright, producer and performer, currently the producing artistic director of Tebere Arts Foundation and artistic director of the Kampala International Theatre Festival, Asimwe Deborah Kawe. And last but not least, an artist who has worked on stage and backstage for nearly 40 years, a journalist, researcher, and curator with specialization on costume design, theatre practice, and theory. Please welcome Rosanie Muniz. Okay. 
something funny is happening here, and I don't know about it, and I'm getting nervous, all right? So now please welcome for a statement, not a statement, but for a few kind words from jury, if jury can have kind words. Please welcome Asimwe. Hello. The PQ jury is honored to have witnessed the rich imagination and skill that went into creating and installing both the countries and regions and the student exhibitions in relation to this PQ's main theme, the rare. We would like to acknowledge the desire for gathering, discussion, and inclusivity evident in many entries as well as the extraordinary efforts made by many countries to be present. The wide variety of contributions with rich content engaged our senses, mind, and emotions. We were especially impressed by the collective energy of the student exhibitions who rose to the challenge of exhibiting outdoors in lively, humorous, and thoughtful ways. Congratulations to all of you. In addition to the main awards, the jury has created six new awards that echo the social, cultural, political, and economic complexity of the current world and hereby honor contributions that critically and actively engage those challenges and urgencies. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you, Asimwa, and thank you, the jury, for making the evening even more long with six new awards. <laughs> we tried to stop them, but... So, speaking of words, uh, of, words of, of prices, let's talk about the highest price, because we're going to show you the golden trigger No, it's not the guy that you're taking with you home, okay? This is the golden trigger. It's uh, inspired by the statue of the National Theatre depicting three horses pulling a cart with goddess Nike. The golden trigger will, like a DNA capsule, contain horse hair <laughs> from three of our rare national breeds from the stud farm Kladruby. Black Kladrubian, white Kladrubian, and Czech warm blood. Thank you, Tomasz. That was impressive. But that's only one price, and then we have also the other prices, and they are rare contact capsules too. They carry PQ DNA. Each contains a fragment from a page from the first PQ catalog. That's this. Yes. Wow. <laughs> And we'll give you more. A bit of stones and sand from the location where the Brussels Pavilion used to stand and where the first PQ took place. That's that one. And the third one is an important PQ digital data fragment. This one. I don't know how you're going to read this, but it's there. <laughs> so, and now we move to the first award. And the first award is a really special one because it was chosen by the youngest visitors of PQ. So we're gonna give the PQ Kids Award and you can hear that it's the kid who knows that it's his award. To present the award, please welcome to the stage the representative of the representative of Marsh Umnielecka's Trevo Platform. We have to translate that. Do you have a knock for the art? Yes, and Contemporary Art Educational Platform, the project leader of the platform, as well as the PQ for Children, Andrzej Horak, together with a very special young lady, Zorka Toshowska.
Good evening. We have one thing to say, Andre, okay? Hello. Oh. We are uh, also very happy to be here, me and Zerka. Yes. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Andre, you know, you know how we have it, like, to, what, what to say first? Uh, yeah, I know, yeah, I know. Perfect, no, perfect. Don't worry, don't worry. We didn't, we didn't have time to practice. <laughs> yeah, okay. Start it. Playful, interactive exhibition invites the use of all the senses. Experienced firsthand, it evokes pure joy of exploring an unknown space. Entering is like walking into a land of dreams. It was also this exhibition that sparked the imagination of the youngest visitors the most. And it's... Portugal has the minutes. Portugal! Uh, thank you so much. I think the, the children are the most uh, hard ju 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 jury that we can have. So I'm really, really glad to, to have this prize. Uh, I want to thank to all the PIKI organization to make this happen every four years. It's a great uh, moment to be part of. And it's really important that we have this time together to uh, speak and create uh, new ideas and new movements. I also want to thank to my without her it was just an idea so I, it's really I'm really from the bottom of, of my heart really happy that uh, they believe in me and make it happen I also want to thank to Quebec that uh, one of the doors I don't know if I'm spoiling the surprise to someone but one of the doors are going through Quebec directly, so World Without uh, Frontiers. And they, since the beginning, they were really into this idea, so I, I also want to thank them. And also DG Arts, who com uh, commissioned this project, so thank you uh, from my heart. I'm really happy, thank you. <laughs> I'll take it. It's fine, thank you. I think we're going to put it down a little bit. Let's see. So, congratulations to Portugal. Thank you, Andre. Thank you, Zorka. I think, Zorka, it's time. Go to sleep, don't you? No. All right. Not yet. So you can see the next presenter. Because the next award is um, for the most socially sensitive exhibition. And it's the Czech Television Award will be presented by Josef Kuchma, the chief editor of the website www.ctr.cz. Welcome. The exhibition is playful, at <laughs> the same time serious, somehow also heavy. It works with digital technologies, yet manages to be tangible, it works with fiction and dystopia, but there is uh, a lot of the real in it. It consists of flyers of waste, clothes, costumes, props. Catalonia, crop. <laughs>
interesting. Okay. Um, first of all, we want to thank the organization of the PQ for making the stenography grow. grow. A little bit closer, please. Sorry. Thank you. <laughs> and of course, for giving us this award. And we want to thank you too to uh, Raquel, Raquel Kors, who is the other part of the team of designers, and to curators Marta Rafa and Pau Mazaló, and to the students of uh, Institut del Teatre of Barcelona, to giving, <laughs> bueno, and, and to Marcel Lucchetti, and the uh, technical chief, and uh, Sara de Uvieta, uh, for his shiny and, and for expertise, really expertise of growing uh, this crop with us. Yes. With us. <laughs> and thank you. The, the presence of Catalonia in PQ23 um, has been supported by Institut del Teatro de Barcelona and Institut Ramon Llull. And as a curator, let me know and let me say that um, only the perseverance, the tireless dedication and love for the project, for the uh, scenography and costumes and PQ um, of the creative team have made it possible for the Catalonian installation to be here. Gracias. Jacui. Thank you. And let's move to another award. The Volkswagen Award for the Most Sustainable Exhibition will be presented by the PR and Marketing Manager from Volkswagen, Lenka Vaňková. So, precisely installed, visually engaging and spatially fascinating gives back to the city where it was conceived by warping found architectural objects into atomized situations, an extra layer of the work is an environmental approach to the used materials. And it's my favorite country, Czech Republic and Limbo Hardware. Limbo Hardware. Thank you very much. I would like to thank uh, to the beautiful organization of PQ, which helped us to make what we did. Uh, we, as uh, we, we were working in a very small team, um, and um, our team came from the art world, not not, uh, not from the theater world. So we really appreciate that we came here. We, we came here through the back door, and as such intruders, that we were not just kicked off, but we really appreciate that you liked your work, our work. Thank you very much. Um, this is Pavel Schwedt's curator, which Hi. has... Um, <laughs> <laughs> which has nothing to say. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. We have to give signals to ourselves with Tomáš because, as you can see, like, it's a little bit complicated to find which word to take. It's not easy. It's the fourth one, the best performance in the student exhibition, and it will be given by the jury member, Mariana Laboan. <laughs> This performance transgresses and breaks the rule of the fashion show through the visible transformation of clothes into no lasting costumes, the role of the models as the creators of their own bodies and characters, and the use of video. Estonia.
thank you so much. Uh, uh, we had a wonderful chance to perform here in uh, six following evenings. And uh, I think we would like to thank mostly our audience who, were, who was always there to support us and uh, to share the moment and energy. And thank you everybody for that award, of course. I must say, I was a little bit worried uh, for the performance one particular day, because if you remember, there was one day when there was the final uh, football match here, and there were 2,000 West Ham football fans here, and the students were performing. <laughs> and you know football fans, they can be wild, so you made it. Let's go to the fifth award. And the fifth award is the community activation in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be given by the jury member, Sophie Jump. An unpretentiously open, inviting, and simultaneously investigative, introverted space focusing on changing narratives and societal triggers becomes a laboratory for generous and critical sharing. The project presents artistic procedures based on distinct artifacts, which by vivid embodiments become manifestations within a contemporary discourse, exploring scenography, theater, and authorship. And the award goes to Serbia. I would like to uh, thank, uh, first of all, uh, rare people from Serbia that uh, uh, actually participated in this program. Our team is, after West Ham fans, the biggest here. And <laughs> it's, uh, it's my pleasure to mention uh, commissioners, students, uh, production team. Uh, I don't know, so many people were involved. And uh, it was a long process of uh, almost one and a half year. So we made it somehow. Thanks. Just to add, if it's possible for the team to stand up, because I think it's a collective award and it's a pretty large team. So who stayed this week is the two. So yeah, that's, that's a part of the team, maybe a third. So thanks a lot. Thank you. It is a big team, okay. Let's go to the sixth award. Intercultural exchange in the student exhibition and it will be presented by the PQ exhibitions manager, Magdalena Brozikova. Good evening, everyone. Uh, let me tell you why this exhibition wins. Uh, this exhibition skillfully brings people together in a joyful intercultural exchange of knowledge and gestures of care, and reminds us of the importance of holding space for one another in a world that's in desperate need for compassion. Uh, Philippines, Magbigay Ayon Sakakayan, Kumua Bataisa, Pangan Kailangan. Give what you can, take what you need. Um, 
uh, thank you very much, PQ, for um, singing, dancing with us, and um, sharing what you have with us. Um, from our students back home in Benil, uh, our dean and our co-faculty, Hershey, um, we have Sir Jay outside who couldn't be inside. Thank you for um, supporting um, this project and helping us um, make it to get here. Thank you to our neighbors who help us um, uh, fix our exhibition when it rains so hard. We didn't know what to do, but thank you so much. Um, I don't know what else to say, but I, I hope you remember Communities, Care, and Collaboration, Philippines in the Student Exhibition at the PQ 2023. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, let's move to the seventh award, if I can read it. Uh, responsiveness to urgencies in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be presented by the member of the jury, Serge von Arx. Good evening. Wonderful to have you all here. Yeah. Wonderful to have you all here. This award recognizes the use of theater skills, including but not limited to collaboration, care, and resilience demonstrated by artists in a dramatically changing world. This quietly powerful exhibit shows us what is possible when theater artists work together. Armenia, I see, I cannot see. <laughs> Thank you, and peace for everyone. Okay, thanks to Armenia, we have time. So let's go to, to award number eight, Responsiveness to Urgencies in the Student Exhibition, and it will be presented by Michaela Buryankova. Good evening again. Uh, a poetic contrast between the real and the metaphorical, the ability to touch on the crisis with a clear and profound simplicity. Up the volatile ceiling is safe but precarious, down the human solidarity that eases hunger, thirst, and cope, also safe and provisional. Poland asylum. <laughs> Yes, it's you. <laughs> Actually, I'm a the oh, producer. I, we are missing the author. Senya, come. There she is. Okay, so I would like to thank you all the team from the Theatre Institute in Warsaw because it wouldn't be possible without you. So, and all the uh, members of uh, my team who cooperated with me with the, on this project. So thank you very much. <laughs> So congratulations to Poland. We're going to the ninth award. Yes, Tomasz, perfect. Visionary scenographic strategies in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be presented by the PQ program coordinator, Pavel Kraus. Hello. This inventive and inviting exhibit demonstrates the agility of performance designers in utilizing analog and digital tools to break down barriers to access. Initially responding to the isolation of the pandemic, 
the theater in a box continues to vitally bring a performance experience, including snacks, into people's homes. Thailand, theater to go. Thank you so much. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> Thank you, Theatre to Go family here in PQ 2023. And also thank you, those um, Theatre to Go who's in Thailand. And yeah, thank you all the limitations and distance and everything that moves us here to PQs and all right. Um, however, we, we start from limitation and problem and mistake. And if you ask if the other two go still going, yes, we still going and see you the world. We move into the 10th award. It's the Best Performance Space Award, and it will be given by the curator of the Performance Space Exhibition, Andrew Filmer. This theater engages with fundamental questions of what performance space is and its interconnection with private and public spaces. It is anchored and rooted in communal traditions of storytelling and creates a place of generosity and hospitality. It calls for an urgent reconsideration of performance as a space of assembly. And the award goes to Jill Planch and Mahanguli George, Theatre in the Backyard, Spaces of Imminence, Places of Potentiality. Welcome. Thank you very much. Um, I'm one of those lucky people who have the chance to engage and comment on and research theatre and artists like Mahongi George, with whom I worked to create this. So really, he's the one who, who deserves this. He's working in South Africa with very little money and a lot of resilience. So I'm so happy that I can report back that he got this award. Thank you. Thank you. Number 11, thank you, Best Publication Award, and it will be presented by the curator of the Best Publication Award, Pavel Drabek. In the beautifully crafted book, the authors document and critically question the 10 years of their collaboration across time across national and continental borders and against cultural expectations. Playful and poetic in their practice, the authors explore basic human needs in a variety of settings, often physically tasking. They pose questions about the rare and raw predicament of being a vulnerable and fragile human in a world in crisis. The best publication award goes to Teresa Longva and Laurel J. Carpenter for 10 together performances by Longva and Carpenter, 2010 to 2020. Thank you to the uh, publication jury, which includes Pavel and Donatella and Aziza, and really to the, our uh, colleagues in the long and short list with their astounding and really edifying publications. We were so impressed and spent so much time there today reading the other works. Um, 
it's, this is really significant for us as unaffiliated and, and self-funded artists, but also to this community of PQ for um, recognizing all of us who uh, year by year, project by project, hoping for a grant, maybe another grant, have um, put together a career, but now able to reflect on that time as not only a career, but also a um, conversation and a vision of how to move into the future. So really, thank you so much. Thank you. Moving on, PQ Jury Award. And the Jury Award will be presented by Rosani Muniz. Good night. The PQ G Award. So this award is intended for an excellent work that sits outside all other award categories. We seem to be facing the remnants of some previous civilization unearthed in the messy aftermath of the latest apocalypse. The visceral scene acts upon the viewer, milky fluids drain from the mass, entropy gains on entropy, a soft transience bluntly reflecting our own. Like quicksand, the crater sucks in all who approach it, making their urge to add the process or reverses. So the award goes to France. Merci. <laughs> thank you, thank you very much. Uh, thank you to and for uh, Théo Mercier and Céline Péché, the artist. Um, they are in Rome now, so I'm so happy also to get the prize for them. Um, in the name of the French Embassy, of course, we are so proud because we chose them to be ambassador also of the talent and uh, they really deserve that. I'm very glad because it's been a, quite an amazing and challenging adventure to bring 60 tons of sand. <laughs> uh, and thank you to the PQ team. You've been all amazing. Um, and thank you because Yirti Jasper is here and is one of the sculptors and has been associated strongly um, in the local team. So Yirti, maybe. Thank you very much. Also for the rest of the team, which is not here. Congratulations. How are you going to take the sand back to France? Yeah. <laughs> no, it goes back. It stays here. It stays here? Yeah. All right. We are so happy. <laughs> <laughs> the children are so happy. It's the next best exhibition for children now. So, now, 13. Visionary teamwork in the student exhibition. And it will be presented by Asimwe Deborah Kawe. In a world that is out of joint, the creation of space for communal participation and conversation in and around deconstruction, remaking, reshaping, and repurposing real objects and thought becomes an invincible connecting thread between the participants. The exhibition embodies visionary teamwork, and the award goes to Georgia, the box.
Hello. This is my student uh, from my school, which is I open after working 30 years in the United States at Dartmouth College and doing shows around the world. When I go back to Georgia, I open the school. It's free of charge, and I do, don't give any grades there because grades means anything. When I was the student, I have terrible grades, actually. <laughs> anyway, this is the second time we won the award here. We were here four years ago also. And uh, thank you all, jury and everybody. We're not finished because we're destroying these uh, Russian military boxes. We have two left. We're going to destroy them tomorrow. So anybody who wants to help us, you are welcome. Okay? Thank you. Thank you so much. I'm a curator of this work, and thank you to my dearest students. And um, it's a great honor to stand here before you. And I'm standing here, and we're standing here, not only as a Georgians, but as the witnesses of Russian aggression, brutal aggression in our country and in Ukraine. So this installation is converting into a soft surface with your touching and communication. So touch the street, um, it's, um, uh, it's linked to our memories, our history, our fears, and our hopes. Thank you so much. <laughs> Thank you for the great words. And also, uh, probably for a lesson, did you see that? A teacher slap in the face of a student. <laughs> You're not going to see that very often anymore. But it's nice. <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> OK. Let's move on. Because we have the prize number 14, best teamwork in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be presented by Chase Anger. Atmospheric haze floats in the space above ancient and contemporary objects representing a vast region and diverse cultures. The lights, smells, and sounds commune together into one tangible and intangible storyline of multifaceted narratives to create this immersive teamwork installation. Brazil! <laughs> and Luciana, we believe in crackers! Thank you very much. Good evening. Uh, this work was built about 200 people, and we, we would like to thank everyone that made part of this uh, since the last two years ago. And we are a huge team of people, and I'd like to thank also Funarte, uh, the Brazilian National Arts Foundation that supported this project, and also the Brazilian Embassy in Prague. We are very happy. And We'd like to say that really thank that everyone who believed in this project and who believe in corners. We are very happy to, to be here with all of you. And we want to thank for the, the, all the 29 artists who created the, our sound offerings. Uh, Eliberto Barroncas, Edra Rockenbach, Luciano Salvador Bahia, Tony Gregório, Anderson Leite, Écio Rogério da Cunha, Érico Ferri, Zahri Tentear, 
Augusto Krebs, Barulhista, Jones Barçô, Miran Abs, Álvaro Rosa Costa, Dori Santana, Panambi, Rinaldo Santos, Ayrton Pessoa Bob, Diego Vatos, Heitor Oliveira, Reginaldo Borges, Diogo Vanelli, Jô Mistigue, Kevin Melo, Márcio Marciano, Anne Luiz Sanfoneira, Eugênio Lima, Kaline Barroso, Marcelo Marques e Zuzu. I'd like to thank especially for two of our artists that could be here with us, Edra Hockenbach and Eugênio Lima. We have the honor to have them with us here. Thanks a lot. I must say I got worried at the moment with the 200 names on the list. <laughs> Almost there. Okay. So 3.30 in the morning, <laughs> still listening to all the collaborators from Brazil. But now, congratulations to all of you, of course, guys. So now, let's go to the 15th award. Okay, Tomás, are you still with me? Okay, 15th, okay. Most imaginative and inventive design in the student exhibition. And it will be presented by the former artistic director of PQ, Soja Lotka. Utilizing senses, costume, and materiality, this playful exhibit invites participants to experience the physicality and sounds of walking through a swamp whilst asking to consider the impact of humans on these precious and threatened ecosystems. Finland. So silent disco. Yes, hello. Thank you so much for this incredible honor and award. Uh, we would like to thank all the students being part of this beautiful exhibition, all the uh, supervising teachers in our university, in Aalto University and Uni Arts Helsinki Theatre Academy, all the faculty members, staff, uh, builders who helped create this piece. And first and foremost, we want to thank all the participants. Thank you for coming with us and being uh, creative with us and exploring the space with us. And lastly, I would like to say that we hope to now and in the future to see not only these beautiful environments as reusable sources, but hopefully in the future we will protect them to stay as they are. Thank you so much. Uh, I think you realize that we have so many awards that we don't even have time some, for some small cultural event during here on the stage. I can give you five seconds, Tomáš. Can you do something with that? Yes. Okay, so I'm counting, all right? The stage is yours. Okay. So, ready? Okay. Three, two, one, and go. Five. Thank you, Tomáš. I we probably don't remember what kind of number it is now. It's 16, okay? So, best design in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be presented by Marketa Fantova. tension of music, space, and performance, the design creates a desperate existential metaphor. The strength of the exhibit are the raw performance, the alienated cell and its contents, and the videos that allow the viewer to revisit the performance. Uh, 
Hi, thank you for the jury for this award. Uh, I want to thank for Mate, you can, I guess, see on the pictures, the singer uh, and the performer of our installation. And I want to thank for the Urkien Theater, where the original production took place. I'm happy to share it with you and with the construction team who built up our installation in a pit-like surface and the whole 11. So thank you. Thank you. In the name of the PQ Hungarian curatorial team, I would like to thank to the uh, artists, to the Erkin Theatre, to the supporting ministry, uh, and to the List Institute in Prague, and to my colleagues uh, at the Theatre Institute uh, Hungary, who have been very, very helpful for everything. Thank you. Guys. Thank you. So, we're almost there. 17th most imaginative concept in the student exhibition, and it will be presented by Sven Jonka. So, the places and situations chosen by the students who become translators of dreams make it possible to experience our bodies in action and space. The student designers instigate infinite and rare possibilities of transformations in a collective proposal that can continuously move forward into other configurations. Serbia! Sorry. Uh, thank you very much for this award. Uh, we are very proud, as you can see. Um, uh, we would like to thank our commissioners uh, for giving us an opportunity to work with these uh, wonderful people. Uh, we would like to thank uh, our production team, our technical team, our uh, mentor team, uh, all, all because uh, Traditionally, a lot of people are involved in this project, and I think that's rare. Uh, and also, um, I would like to thank, um, again, these guys <laughs> <laughs> and uh, other guys. Uh, thank you. Ten more you were wonderful. Ten more. Um, thank you, Daydreamers. And uh, thank you all for this rare moment. Thank you. Uh, I just want to say the names of my colleagues that worked on this. So the student authors are Keti Zaharijev, Mina Radovanović, Petra Perović, Višnja Vukajlović, Una Kotur, Itana Šestović, Nikola Stojadinović, Ružica Ristivojević, Lucija Stjepović, Jana Baljak, Tanja Stefanović, Marija Pokrajac, Angelina Biskupljanin, Miloš Janić i Aleksandar Jovanović. Thank you. Thank you also, we're extending this speech a little bit. I'm invited to speak a little bit more, but I, I don't know what else to say, but this is the students' work. I mean, we were honored and privileged to be able to help them do it, and uh, I hope you come and daydream with us. I'm sorry that they're not all here. It's, it's strange being here without... Now, we're gonna, we're gonna make it a different way, because we're streaming it. So, if you're now watching outside the Serbian students, shout so loudly so we can hear you here.
What a week for Serbia, isn't it? Like Djokovic, Jokic, the basketball player. And now this, a double win. Congratulations. How do you do that, guys? Okay. We have to ask. So, we are coming to the best concept in the exhibition of countries and regions. And it will be presented by Pavla Petrova. The somatic power of spatial disruptions in tactile artifacts is both mysterious and seductive. The claustrophobic corridors strongly reverberate core aspects of scenography as agency for multi-faced spatial narratives, encored in history and as space for performance. The intriguing reuse of obsolete architectural remains emphasizes the importance of weaving scenography into already existing material. Czech Republic. Okay, so we have a double win also. Yeah, cool. We're fine. Okay, this time I actually say something. Uh, I want to thank to Ministry of Culture of Czech Republic, and we are proud to represent the Czech Republic. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thanks. Thank you. Okay, here is it for the students. The best student exhibition. Let me divide on the, on the stage. The Prague City Hall's head of the Department of Culture and Tourism and actually a really cool guy, Jiri Stuljanko. Sasha, so if you allow me, we are late anyway. So I wanted to take this opportunity and thank you, everybody, to be here and welcome you on behalf of Prague, on behalf of the cultural Prague that you are helping to create for the last two weeks and next week. So thank you for that. I'm happy that you stayed longer than the football fans. You know, they left quite quickly, <laughs> but you are staying longer. Thank you for that. And now for the exhibition. Uh, the poignant and intimate catalog of a place in a perpetual state of crisis with textual and material fragments creating mechanistic urban simulacrum. City as a dynamic open system constructed from memories, reflections, invocations, and dreams. The work succeeds in framing a world in constant mutation and disequilibrium, attentively and without slipping into sentimentality. It's Lebanon puzzles. <laughs> Thank you, uh, the jury, for this amazing award. And I would like to thank all the PQ team for allowing us to be part of the festival this year, also despite the very hard uh, situations. And of course, um, thank you, a very big thank you to Hadi, the curator, who unfortunately couldn't be here today because uh, unfortunately we didn't get any funding to be here, and I was very lucky to be able to present the work. 
and I'm very surprised <laughs> about the price. Yeah, so thank you. As you probably noticed, there's just one price. So, Tomáš, let's go for it. No more, no more acting, nah, that was enough. <laughs> let's go for the golden trigger. So, this award, the main prize of uh, Prague Quadrennial, the prize that awards all the aspects of the selected exhibition, the best racial concept and exhibition scenography, will be presented by the Deputy Minister of Culture, Mr. Andrzej Krast. Me again. <laughs> 19 people did it before me, so I hope I will not disappoint you. Do your best. By the way, thank you, Jerry, for the wonderful text. <laughs> All of them. Okay, so. This elegant and many lawyered exhibit demonstrates how scenography can interrogate and negotiate local themes of memory, absence and presence that resonate universally. It self-critically invites visitors to question their own position as weavers of real or reproduced sites of conflict and trauma. By looking at the past, present and possible futures of the site Glimpsed through the narrow square openings of buildings, the exhibit provokes feelings of anguish while suggesting the rare potential for hope. Cyprus, spectators in the ghost city. Good evening. Uh, I'm receiving this award on behalf of the team of Cyprus and um, and uh, grateful for being here tonight. Thank you very much. It means a lot to us, especially presenting this work, work uh, concerning Cyprus and Famagusta. Uh, Thanks and congratulations to the curator Marina Maleni and the artist Melida Guta, also the team uh, Pascal Caron, George Lazoglu, and everybody at the uh, theater organization of uh, Cyprus who made this possible. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have it here at the Mustus Kiprianus. Miahara. So that's it. We made it. Not 60 minutes, sorry, Michal, but we did our best. At the very end, please let me express again what you heard, but it's really important. Many thanks to all the curators, all the organizers, the jury, of course, to everybody who participated, and especially to all of you who made really these past few weeks and also till the end of uh, Prague Quadrennial, which is until the 18th, the best possible place to be here in Prague. We're really looking forward to see you in four years, but now please enjoy the evening, enjoy the party, Speak also about some other's work, okay, sometimes. <laughs> and we're really looking forward to see you in four years. Enjoy and thank you. Good night. Yeah.